welcome back to my channel. Today, I am showing you how I highlight and contour. I have like this huge pimple or something on my forehead. I could have sworn that I was too old for this, but I'm going to show you guys today how I also hide those things. So, let's get started. So I'm going to start out with my e.l.f. Hydrating Moisturizer. I use this daily for my skin because I usually, I get dry around here most of the time. I'm gonna go in with my face primer. This stuff is almost gone. It's so lightweight. Next, I'm just going to spray my face with e.l.f. setting spray. This pimple is on my head. I'm going to use my LA Faux Concealer. And this is in the color Warm Honey. I'm gonna just take my beauty blender and dab it. Okay. So next, I'm going in with my Black Radiance. I love this foundation. It matches my skin to the teeth. Like you would never know that I have it on unless you were like up in my face. And this little stick on it is so cool. And then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. You've probably seen this beauty blender in my video many of times. I have so many of them and I like the way that it looks. It looks like a little whale, <laughs> but it's really lightweight, very soft. I do damp it to make it easier to put on my foundation. Voila. 
So next, I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl concealer. I'm gonna go under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my chin, my cupid's bow, and my lovely boy. And the reason I make this face is for me to be able to get as close to my eyes as possible so there's no gap in between my concealer. Ali, what time is it? What time is it? I'm using it on my stand. My lotion is on my stand. So next, I'm going to go in with my Fit Me Now setting spray. I'm sorry, setting powder setting spray. Because it was both of those were liquid on my face, I'm going to have to set it. So now, I'm going in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette. And I'm going to use the darker brown. Sucking your cheeks to show where your cheekbones are. And then some people do their foreheads because it may 
me feel as if their forehead's a little big or whatnot. I do it, and I think I'm gonna do it today because this lovely um, pimple is just dropping me bananas. Thought I was too old. And then I'm gonna do the bottom of my chin. And let me tell you, I love going for a dramatic contour, so I do it twice. So I'm going to go in with my Maybelline New York contour palette also. So after that, I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl Professional. I'm just going to dab it on here. Just the hair. Just to help set it. I don't want to put too much because I don't want to be too white. And that's what gives you the flashback. I know what you guys are saying, she didn't contour her nose. I'm getting to it. I have all this white stuff on my shirt. Getting to it. So I'm just going for a really natural look today. So I'm gonna use my matte palette. So, okay, I'm going to come back in and I'm going to brush this I'm gonna go in with my Tarte bronzer on my contour. Just where I contoured my face. I have this awesome little brush. This brush is for contouring my nose. So I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline contour palette and chisel away. Then I'm gonna get my beauty blender. So I'm gonna add some rosy cheeks. It's coming out of my Maybelline palette. It's a contour palette also. Not too much. And then um, you guys are probably saying I'm doing this super bad. 
backwards, but I now go in with my Black Radiance Soft Focus Finishing Powder, just to give me that finishing look. And why is it always at those spots? That's where the sunlight hits your face. So you just want to be up booming when it hits. So I'm going to go back in with my beater. Sometimes it gets covered up with the makeup and I don't want to cover it so to spray myself with my elf spray once again this helps set the makeup so it lasts you all day you know what i'm saying so yeah And there you go. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. Please. 